In today's video, we'll take a look at the offset of macro, what it does and how it can be used. So here I have a, an example struct and this guy has two integers and a character, right? And what I want is to get uh, where this character is situated inside the struct. So if I define here an example struct, right? Say T, um, I want to know exactly where in memory is this guy uh, related to where this T is in memory. So if you were to print the size of this struct, so say print F and then size, let's say, and size of T. And if I run this, we are gonna get 12, right? And that makes sense because here we have an integer, which we know is four bytes, right? Here we have a character, which we know is one byte. Then to align this next integer, there are three bytes of padding, three bytes pad, let's say, and this integer is four bytes long. So that's why we get, if we add them all up together, we get 12, that's nice. Now I want the actual position within the struct of this character. In our case, what it would be? Well, it would be four because uh, first we have this integer inside the struct and then we have the character. If we were to have, for example, um, another integer here, this guy's position or offset inside the struct would be eight, right? So you do this using the offset of macro. To use it, it's actually very simple, but it's not as straightforward as calling a function. It's a bit, it's a bit weird the way you're actually using it. So you start off by first, let's first include the library that it resides in. So it's stddef.h, that's where you find it. And then if we type in here offset of, and this guy takes in two parameters. First is the name of the struct or the type that you want to uh, get the offset from. In our example, well, it's the example struct. So you're gonna just use example. Notice here, I'm not using a, a variable name. It's actually a type here. And then the second parameter is the members full name. As in, if I were to say, if I want to access this character, how would I do it? I would say t.y. Then the second parameter here should be just y because that's how you access this uh, parameter. Now, if we try to simply print it on the screen, so say here print f, and then offset of uh, y is Percent, percent LLU because it's returning a size T type. So we want to use uh, the proper uh, the proper specifier here. I'm gonna have here an enter just so that we can see everything. And if I try to run this, you'll notice offset of Y is four. So that's correct. We, this guy got the offset of Y, whatever we have here in struct. So if I were to add another integer here, let's say x2, if I try to run this again, you'll notice it automatically changed to eight. So if you want to automatically get the offset of a member from a struct, you can do this using the offset of macro. One more thing, if I define here another struct, let's say here, and let's say it has here an, uh, I don't know, a long, long, variable and then it has an example inside of it right so this guy sort of uh, or this guy is found inside of this struct right and in fact we can we can get the offset of e from within example two so you can say here uh, offset of we want to get the offset from this type example two and we want the member E. So if I change this to E and offset of E within, let's say within example two is that. So if I try to run this, I'm going to get, well, I'm gonna get eight because it makes sense because we have here a 
long long first which is eight bytes and then its offset it should be eight now the cool thing about this macro is you can get an offset from nested structs so here i'm just getting the offset of the example uh, struct itself but i can get the offset of a member of this guy within this guy so i can say e let's say e dot y here and if i try to run this you'll notice i get here 16. why is it 16 well we have to think about it first we have a 64-bit integer an 8-byte integer so that's 8 already for the offset but to get to y we have to go through these two integers so we also have to add uh, eight more bytes to the offset so we get 16 bytes here now i hope you sort of understand what offset off does and how you can use it now the situations uh, that have you used this type of thing are uh, rare so if you ever find yourself needing to get the offset of a member from a struct without for example without having the type itself defined without having a variable of that type maybe then you might need uh, such a macro to be used so it's nice to keep it in mind it's nice to keep that uh, to know that okay there is something like this and you don't have to worry about the offset itself right so i hope you got something out of this video thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions do leave them down in the comments below or on our discord server take care bye